And it's funny because, you know, for me to, to relate to my son, it's a little challenging, you guys. And it's not that I can't relate to a teenager because I can. I can relate to almost any age. You know, I got people that brought kids here tonight. The problem is, is that my son doesn't see me as an entertainer. He sees me as the guy that tells him to take a shower, put on deodorant, you know, stop picking your nose. I'm, that's me. His friends, on the other hand, I'm like a god to his friends. Every time I drop off Frankie at school now, I pull up, you know, the kids see my car. They freak out and they run over to it and they put their hands on it like it's a shrine. They touch the car like freaking, Selena está aquí, you know? Some of you got that, gracias. Anyway. Then the kids start shaking my car side to side, chanting, Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. And Frankie's in the front seat, pissed. He's pissed. He's like, this is bull <laughs> I'm like, hey, dude, don't get mad at me because I'm more popular than you at your school. <laughs> Little hater. <laughs> he gets out of the car all mad. <laughs> They're still chanting, Fluffy, Fluffy. The thing is, is that our worlds are very different. His world revolves around Grand Theft Auto, the video game, YouTube, and girls. He's really good at two of those. The other one, not so much. And it's not that I'm trying to be a hater about it, it's just that I tell Frankie, listen, you need to start having more conversations. You need to become more talkative and, and interact like this. See, he, he'd rather text than talk. That's his whole thing. I'm like, dude, you gotta learn, you know, start to talk to me. I wish you would talk to me more. I, you could learn a lot about talking by talking to me. I'm just saying, I only do it professionally. <laughs> but no, he'd rather text. It's at the point now where if I'm in the house and I yell, Frankie, did you take out the trash? Nothing. All of a sudden, cling. I take out my phone, no. <laughs> but if I say, I got money for you, freaking Houdini, right? Oh, hello. Because you can't text cash. That's my big thing right now. I just want him to take out the trash. He's 16 years old now. He should have been doing this since he was 10, but you know, better late than never. And what he does is he'll sit in the living room and he tunes out the rest of the house. He sits there and he'll put on these headphones that I got him for Christmas a couple of years ago. These beats with the freaking studio button and it cuts out all of the sound. They are so strong that when he starts watching his YouTube videos, he can't hear himself laugh. And for me, that is the funniest thing in the world. I'm in the other room and I can hear him. This is what I hear. I'm in the other room like, who brought the Germans? And so I walk out into the living room and I see Frankie and he's laughing at his phone and I gotta flag him down. I go, hey, hey, hey. And he'll take him off. What, what, what's up, Dad? I go, Frankie, can you do me a favor? Can you please take out the trash? Okay. And then he puts him back on. <laughs> what? Now? I go, yes. Now? When you ask me for a ride, it's because you need a ride when you ask for it, right? Not later. Then he says, where are we going? Just take out the trash. And then he does it. He takes out the trash, but he acts like he's doing me the biggest favor in the world. And he stares me down and he doesn't break eye contact. He's like. <sighs> and then I'll hold the bag over the can and he makes a sound. <sighs> I'm like, dude, so much drama. It's crazy, I, I'd like to have normal conversations with him, but usually I gotta take it that far for us to interact. You know, I look forward to conversations, even if it's something small and minute, at least it gives me a chance to trigger another conversation with him. I look forward to a few things. I look forward to December, because in December, Frankie becomes very chatty. Otherwise, he's one word kid. <laughs> Parents, you know what I'm talking about. Kids, one word kid, and you try to talk to him. Hey, how's your day? Good. You have any homework? Yeah. You gonna do it? Maybe. You hungry? Mm-hmm. What do you want? Food. Usually that's what I get. 
But December rolls around and guess what December is? December is when he becomes very chatty because he has an agenda. All of a sudden he goes from one word kid to very like, hey, how's your week, dad? You doing good? Yeah, how are the shows going? You doing all right? Do you need anything? You need anything? I'm like, I needed this in July, just saying. <laughs> and I know it's fake, but at least once again, it allows me to put my real conversation on top of his fake one. And if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes.